Um, that's, a, that's an old, old uh, technique of the CIA, is to establish a, a, a type of civic organization which would be involved in monitoring elections and things like that. And the first one that I know of was Numfrel in um, the Philippines. They established that one around 1950-51 as part of the counterinsurgency against the Hux, uh, the, um, the uh, guerrilla movement of the time, because we wanted to have a vehicle for electing our man president of the Philippines. And we did it through this organization, NANFRO. NANFRO stands for National Association for Free Elections, I think. <laughs> free. And, uh, yeah, free elections, when we were financing the whole thing. <laughs> and um, NANFRO was very successful. And uh, our man, uh, Ramon Magsaysay, was elected president, I think it was 70, 52, 53. And unfortunately, he was killed in a plane crash, 57. And so then we switched to Marcos and various other uh, people like that. But Namfrel never, never uh, faded away. And in 1986, remember the elections of 1986, which Marcos tried to steal? Well, Namfrel was alive and well. And they were the ones who denounced the fraud by Marcos. And they then inspired the movement of people power, which forced him to resign and brought Cory Aquino in as president. So Namfra was alive and well. They tried to copy it in Panama. They sent the president of the Chamber of Commerce in the early 80s, um, or 84 or there, more or less, in preparation for the 87 elections, I think it was. They sent him out to Panama to study the way Namfra worked. So he could come back to Panama and establish another one there. And so he did. In Panama, it was called Cruzada Civica or Civic Crusade. And um, this was what was used against the Noriega forces in the streets. It became a, what they call Rabi Blanca there. Um, you know, the, the upper class white people in Panama. It was one of those organizations. But they did take to the streets and um, you can remember the, the, uh, the pictures on the covers of the magazines, you know, when they had the riots and, um, and Noriega was not overthrown then. But they tried everything in Panama. The CIA was running candidates of its own uh, all through the 1980s, trying to get Noriega out. Maybe not all through the 80s, no. They, his, his utility ended about 86, 87. Because he was working with the CIA. Yes, and doing yes. It was important for the Contra operation, operation in, um, in Nicaragua. But by 87, up to here in Panamanian politics, and I'm sure they are, using these different types of organizations. So the covered action operations go on. And as a matter of fact, in, um, not only in, Bolivia, in uh, Bulgaria did they overturn this government. I didn't even finish that story, but what happened is all this money from National Endowment for Democracy went in, and they fomented student strikes and demonstrations, trade union strikes, uh, massive street protests, and uh, not only was the money put in by the National Endowment for Democracy, but also pa Paul Weyrich's um, Free Congress Foundation. Or got involved. And this is part of the Christian right, you know. He's right. the man who runs all these different organizations out of the same address in Washington, D.C. And uh, this Free Congress Foundation also got going in there, uh, in, in, I guess in coordination with what the CIA was doing, what NED was do doing, and, and so forth. And so the elections were in June. Uh, the communists had, or the former communists had won. By the end of November, they were out because they made the country ungovernable. 1991, they did the same thing in Albania. They had elections there, free, fair, no fraud, former communists won, the United States got in there through these different organizations and the CIA naturally, and they made Albania ungovernable. Chile, same thing. Same, Chile, same thing, Brazil in the early 60s, mm -hmm. same thing. We, did, I did this, we were doing the same thing when I was in Ecuador. In fact, we had two coups, uh, two um, unconstitutional changes of government when I was there, and uh, they were largely due to what we were doing. And by the time I left, uh, after three years, we had what we wanted a four-man military dictatorship that was carrying on a very strong repression against the left.